Welcome to the Good Vibe People Show, where we explore the leaders and shakers in the events and entertainment industry. And we are live with Flower K. What's up, guys? How's it going? Uh, Flower K is a great band that we uh, heard at the last Art Jam. So it's uh, how would you describe your your music? Pop, indie-ish, soul duo. Is yeah. that is that more or less? Uh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Usually the pop R and B. R and B. I forgot yeah. the R and B. I, I forgot that extra spice. I like the soul too. That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pop R and B duo. It's good. You guys aren't aren't, aren't putting a, a label on it. I, I'm liking. So uh, for those people that don't know, uh, introduce yourselves. Who you are and what is it that you do. Uh, I'm Sam. I'm the lead singer. I also play guitar and a little bit of bass. Yeah, and I'm Colin. I play mostly keys and synths and samples and stuff. It's usually triggering it live. And I, play, so, I press the space bar quite a bit too. You do? <laughs> space bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? What does that do? Does that, uh, is like, it play? It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like a joke between my friends and I that I'm just like, I press space bar and then I just like hang back, but it's not true at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, the, the best DJs uh, are always on the space bar, right? Exactly. So, uh, so cool. So you guys are, are together, right? You guys are... We are. We're married. You're married. Yes, we are married. <laughs> That's insane because I, I was I was talking a little bit earlier uh, about you know chemistry, you know relationship chemistry in art type mm-hmm. of thing, and it's the kind of thing that it, it either works or it doesn't. You know, like for me, it it went horrible. Like, uh, oh <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm not sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but meaning like uh, it's okay. We're we're over it. <laughs> Everything's good. But meaning um, it's it's the kind of thing that I, I was discussing with. With this guy, it could be the best thing in the world, or or it can become a nightmare. So I'm I'm curious to hear because it's the first time that I, I've seen something that actually seems like it's going well. You know, like yeah. you, you guys do, you know, you're you're you're, you're doing it, and it, it's it's it sounds good, and everything Thank looks you. fluid and everything. So I'm I'm curious to to hear a little bit more about that before we start. You know how? Uh, how yeah. Well, I think it helps because we were both like artists individually before we met. Mm-hmm. So he had um, a punk. Like kind of a punk rock oh, group. Okay. So um, quite the switcheroo. Yeah. yeah, totally. And I was doing kind of like R&B stuff as well right. on the side. Um, and then when we met, uh, it's been nine years now. Yeah. It's going to be nine years next week. But I think the biggest and, thing is that we met like pretty young. Yeah. Okay. And then so we explored a lot together. Like, exactly. So yeah. like we signed like an artist development deal with the label too. So we yeah. went through, that was probably the most, I guess, like trying stuff. Like, yeah. Like hardest on us because like there was a lot of pressure and like there was a lot of like restrictions to what we we're able to do it was kind of weird but we went through that together mm-hmm. and then we had like all the highs and lows like we yeah. had a song on the radio for yeah. a while and then we uh i mean we got nominated for an independent music award in new york and that, yeah. that was really okay, cool sick. and nice. that, that was actually on the way back from that we're like yo we're going to start things over and i think by that point we had such a clear idea of what we wanted to do yeah because we had we had spent like six years like touring non-stop and like like, you know like holding down full-time jobs being gone three days a week and mm-hmm. then like getting home sunday morning 5 a.m and going to work at seven on Monday, like yeah. really brutal stuff. <laughs> Welcome mm. back to reality. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> Literally, yeah. And then that post-show depression hits. Yeah, and you're totally. Like, oh, fuck this. But uh, yeah, but I think it also it just always meshed well yeah. for us. Like we always, like you said, we sign up simultaneously, kind of grew into our um, artistic creativity, if, if you will, and and we always kind of gave each other our, our space and also. It just worked. It, mm-hmm. We always inspire each other. We kind of feed off each other's ideas, and it it just we got really lucky that it just kind of meshed really well together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. it was yeah, it's yeah. kind of a meant to be kind of thing. I think. Yeah. You know? yeah. I, I also find that like especially recently, like the best stuff. Well, I feel that we've been doing has been like the most like natural thing. And I find mm-hmm. it's a, like as an artist, it's the hardest process to find what comes naturally to you. Right. Yeah. You, know, you deal with like self doubt or yeah. like you have to get your skills up to a certain mm-hmm. level. And mm-hmm. I think like we always we always talk and there's like constant stream of communication and whenever we're going through something we just like to talk about it so like the mind kind of stays fairly clear and like able to be kind of like in a like a natural comfortable creative, yeah. creative space. space yeah yeah it, it, it's Definitely. good that your your relationship feels like it's fueling the creativity mm. and and being inspired by it so that, yeah. that that's you know I think sometimes that's whether it's you know. A real relationship or or you know friendship because usually bands just start out you know yeah a bunch of dudes in the garage yeah. <laughs> basically yeah. but yeah. you know relationships 
change through time and sometimes a person's relation will affect so much the creative aspect. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I've been through that and, and, and you know, sometimes it, it goes well. So I'm happy that it's going yeah. well for you guys. Yeah. That's, that's no, knock on wood. Yeah, yeah knock on wood. <laughs> for now. There's no wood here. <laughs> yeah. uh, unfortunately, I'll get that for you after the, the interview. Um, so you guys have both uh, individual careers before you met, right? So mm-hmm. so is, is Flara K your... Uh, I'm, I'm guessing Flara is your name, or what is Flara? No, okay. uh, actually, please so tell me. Fl- yeah. Please yeah, yeah, tell. Yeah. So Flara K is um, kind of it's it's, it's, a, it's a name that we wanted to create that was original that spoke to like kind of our our kind of our background that also stood out from the crowd. Like mm-hmm. we didn't necessarily want to use our our personal names because we felt like not only is like Sam and Colin kind of like. <laughs> bland and very vanilla yeah. it's also you know we kind of wanted to create something that meant something else like our that really gave a label to yeah. our 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 music and our and our artistry i guess yeah. and um i mean it's derived from like one of like our favorite yeah. places we went when we went to europe and like mm-hmm. in reference to our favorite authors so it's really just like an okay. homage to like yeah. so what is the well, what's what? The, so, the K is in reference to all our favorite. Like, yeah, I'm our a, favorite like we're huge Kurt Vonnegut fans. Like, I make a point to read reread one of his books every year because there's always something new to learn. Uh, Franz Kafka and all the characters in those books, he just calls them K. Ursula K. Le Guin, who like, I just it goes on and on and on. Yeah. And I just thought that was kind of cool, and the authors seemed really attached to the mm-hmm. letter K. I thought it was cool. Yeah, we thought it was cool to add it. Yeah. And um, K is a cool letter, right? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. of all the letters like, yeah. in the alphabet, K is a cool yeah. letter. Yeah. It's, it's, it's got cool grit. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. And, then, um, and Flara comes from... Uh, so we got engaged in Poland. We went on a trip through... Uh, Poland and he proposed in Krakow but the street oh, another like, K that, yeah, that's yeah, true yeah, very true about that. and yeah. uh, but the street that he proposed on was called a uh, Florian Gate I don't think that's the street I think that there's like well nearby. it was like a crossing street where yeah. we were yeah anyway um, <laughs> so the cross street <laughs> yeah I guess so yeah it was like okay anyway hey fair enough it's yeah like, it was close yeah yeah um so but yeah and then it was it was derived from yeah. Florian like kind of you know Flara Florian so we kind of yeah drew yeah, yeah. it from there cool yeah cool. so it, it has this uh bloomy ring to it cool. that's cool yeah yeah, yeah. The, the, awesome yeah, it's not, I feel uh, when I hear Flara K I, I I imagine a flower that's <gasps> that's uh, lovely so thank opening. you yeah <laughs> honestly for me it was just like I wanted a name that wouldn't be an SEO nightmare you know like, <laughs> that too yeah we had to think about like, that why too. do we have yeah. to think about oh SEO my god you have to this is so, such a 2019 artistry oh it's, problem it's nothing worse the, than like googling yourself and you find like cans of paint uh-huh. <laughs> oh my gosh yeah <laughs> right is that what flower cake no 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 we're the only ones that pop up luckily for the moment yeah 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 <laughs> okay that's what's up so um cool story by the way i i like it the i i rather that story than just saying somebody oh well it was a cool name you know but yeah. you, you, know, you guys actually have a meaning and a meaning together which yeah is, we um we kind of dug deep with that one we also yeah. like that trip from new york was in april and then we had we came up to the name well we settled on the name in september of that yeah year. So we it took spent, us a long time there was like notebooks of just yeah. names and names and ideas and ideas so you, you yeah. were a no-name band touring before no no no, well, no, no. we had a we different had a... band and we're not saying yeah, that we... band. okay okay okay, okay, <laughs> okay. when we decided to restart we had been writing like these songs like in our bedroom oh well, not our bedroom but a room in our apartment yeah and then yeah we just we just would go every day just write down 30 names and yeah. all of them were bad they, well <laughs> until flare okay yeah it's, that was the only one yeah. that stuck and yeah, and it kind of made sense, and it felt right. So, yeah. So, what inspires your work? Like, what do you guys write about? Like, what's 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 the angle that you're you're trying to put out to the world? Honestly, I think it's just um, the the range of human emotion. Like, yeah. I mean, when I when we write songs, when I'm writing lyrics, it's like it's it usually speaks to what I'm going through in the moment, or what he has been dealing with in the moment. Or you write for, f- about his experiences. Yeah, too. Some, I mean, we're like, like we said, we, we talk really openly about like what we go through and what we're thinking about on a, you know, just like on a personal, mental growth level. And I try and kind of draw inspiration from there as well. And um, so, yeah, it's usually just honest to what I'm going through or have been through or go. You know, I feel like every human kind of goes through the range of like ups and downs mm-hmm. and. 
and that's what music is supposed to be about. Yeah. I mean, to kind of make you feel like you're less alone going through these things. And um, I don't know. I think yeah. that's kind of how I, I feel, feel about I feel like it. that's definitely the, the direction you're heading. Like, she mm-hmm. does most of, like, the lyric writing and stuff. And now it's, like, I feel it took her a long time to find her voice. But now mm-hmm. I find that she's in a really sweet spot that I can't even, like, help write any music until I get a melody from her. Because I just, I feel like I've been writing the same melody for the last 10 years. And <laughs> I'm just I'm so uninspired by it. So... Yeah, so, yeah, I feel what did I just say? Yeah, yeah you, you're, <laughs> you're, yeah, that's what you're tapping into, I feel yeah. like, especially yeah. in, like, slowing down the present and just, like, taking mm-hmm. a look around and, like, seeing what's going on around you mm-hmm. and the whole falling in love with what it means to be, like, I guess, human. Yeah, totally. That's, we talk yeah. about that a lot. Yeah. It's, I find it such a universal of, of, you know, wanting to express emotions through art, you know? You're not trying to speak knowledge you're not necessarily trying to exchange information mm-hmm. or or anything that's i guess verbatim or whatever it's it's very much you know a a journey that's you know personal which makes it universal yeah, yeah. exactly yeah, yeah. and at, yeah because i always feel like freaked out when like she'll come or we write together and we'll come up with a line that we don't actually think about it just comes out but then you're like oh man that sums up the last three weeks of my life like mm-hmm. to a t yeah yeah does it happen? Because I write a lot, not necessarily in music so much, but you'll write something and on the spot it just comes out and you're just like, okay, this is a line. But then as time goes by, you're like, oh my God, this meant so many other yeah. things that when it came out, it it didn't, yeah. oh my you gosh, even all the time. That happens to me all the time. It's your subconscious. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. And then it totally means something like different to you like months later or years later when you're mm-hmm. like, whoa <laughs> yeah freaky yeah totally. i think that's like the best part that's yeah such a thrill it, it is a thrill yeah totally yeah yeah <laughs> you kind of write stuff and and it you know when you focus out you're like okay that's exactly where i was at that yeah. exact moment mm-hmm. yeah you know yeah so um so what's your upcoming projects you guys are are working on an album an ep what's an what's e- happening an ep well, let us know that's a bold Hopefully. statement we're, i mean we're hoping <laughs> for an ep is ep too big we're yeah. trying <laughs> one, we're one song at a time there's a lot like i guess like a lot of stuff going on we have like a i guess enough yeah ready yeah. to like release an ep yeah. if we wanted to but we're not sure we're, who or with yeah. like how we're gonna go about releasing it just now and there's like yeah so we're waiting to the new year i think something will definitely be out by spring mm-hmm. yeah i think so i think we're waiting to, I mean, I think it's going to be a single first. That's going to be our first step. And yeah. then waiting to see where that takes us and if we're turning it into an EP, an album, or just do, you know, releasing singles for a little while. Mm-hmm. We're just not um, 100% yeah. set on I feel on, like, like you're talking direction. about dating. Yeah, like, we're just starting out with seeing where, it, where it's uh, going to go. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like it puts a lot of pressure when oh, you're like, man. okay, cool, an album's coming out. Then you're like, oh my God. <laughs> It's just, it feels too, like, ah, I too heavy, it, yeah. you know? I think I learned to, like, to hate our songs before I can ever settle on, like, a bunch to make an album, you know? Like, I yeah. like it. We have a song, and then, yeah. no, get it off. It's, no one's going to hear that. Yeah. I mean, it even happened to our EP, like, that we released, like, in uh, March, Yeah, last April. year, yeah. Like we had six songs at the end. We're like, no, these last two can't make it. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah, not yeah, good yeah. enough. Yeah, because I mean, it also you evolve. Like you know, mm-hmm. your your music or your writing evolves, and it and then you just decide like, ah, oh, no, like these songs just don't fit with it anymore, and mm-hmm. they're just not part of like, I don't know what you want to kind of portray or put out there. And yeah. I feel like that's just kind of part of the process, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's also part of like not putting too much pressure on like one specific song because sometimes it just doesn't that song just doesn't work out or you know so you, mm-hmm. you're less attached to it if you don't say yeah. like i'm going to for sure release this one and i don't know mm-hmm. whatever this and this date because uh, then you feel a little heartbroken when it doesn't happen so yeah. you know you know, but you know how catchy songs is the kind of thing that you, you listen at the beginning and then you're like, oh, I love this. And, and you, you can't, you can't sing yeah. it. So it's yeah. kind of a double edged sword, you know, yeah. if you That's get too it. sick of your own songs yeah. before putting them out. Yeah. I know. I don't yeah. Know that yeah. No, I don't think we ever get sick of it. But no. I find especially now, like we work in a very much a more collaborative yeah. way. So like we'll come up with these ideas and then I like our friend who like produces, he, I find him he's a genius, is Luca the producer on Instagram. Yeah, okay. He's like I basically What's give up, him, Luca? Yeah, <laughs> we're here. We give him basically like our entire track and we're like, just do what you want to it. And, yeah. then, and then I like to see what he flare. puts to it. And then we hire like someone else to mix it, master it. So like every stage the song becomes a bit more like refreshing to us. Mm-hmm. It still stays like our song, we're there in the producing process, yeah. but 
I guess that helps us feel less sick of it because yeah. then it's like it's a little piece of everyone who's surrounded us and you know we're all after the same thing right like mm-hmm. we're all after a way of success so I find like everyone's trying to bring their best foot forward to kind of like make that the best thing because I mean as an artist like I think you have to try really hard to do something to completion if that sucks and you know it sucks from the start you know I don't know like I, I would just like throw it away after like ten minutes if, I, if I'm not feeling if it. If it doesn't feel right, <laughs> yeah, quick enough, yeah. You, you you put it down. Yeah, that's an interesting way to think. Uh, I don't remember. I think it was. No, I'm not going to try to remember. But there there was an artist that that, that said exactly that. Like it's if it doesn't feel right, like quickly, and you're you're forcing your mind too much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's a garbage. But on the contrary, I remember hip hop artists. Some some said that it. it Usually they they take I don't know like a uh, a few days a few hours whatever to write their verse but every now and then they'll have one that they're almost there but it's yeah. kind of like a, yeah. a word puzzle that yeah. you're yeah. you know mm-hmm. switching yeah. three sixty degrees definitely a lot definitely. of gray areas and oh yeah I said. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's always an no, exception no we're we're, yeah. we're taking all of this like a gospel <laughs> yeah. so um so uh, good so. You know, you, you you said earlier that you're after. We're all after the same thing. What is that? What is that? What are you after? I mean, oh, man, that's it. I'm that's, not. This is. I'm not letting you guys like, easy. This is not what, like yeah. what's your name yeah. and uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What, what's your genre. I th- I guess I guess I can start. I guess what I'm after is like I just love meeting people and like kind of like being, building a community and like when you build like like a a community around you of like musicians like. I had a revelation this year that I realized that all of my friends, like my closest friends in my life are somewhat also like business partners. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like all the people I hang out with on weekends are other other musicians who like, if they need like me and help with the session, I'm there. If they need help, like booking or grant writing, you know, I'm there to help them. Like, or like our producer friends or in the studio. Like it's like, I think that's just a magical way to live. You know, Mm -hmm. when like everyone around you is helping you, find the best part of you or like the thing that you like doing the most yeah. and especially when i think when it's in art when a lot of people have to have like a day job that they don't enjoy and outside of that like you find all these people that just like bring everything great out of you and then you find you take like these huge steps a lot faster mm-hmm. i i just want a life where like that continues to be the main focus so like i i, I still have a day job that i work part-time at do you enjoy it my or, day or job is it for the so artistry? I, I love I like I actually love my day job now more because I realize that everything outside of it has become my full time job. Mm-hmm. You know, like being a musician and like networking around the city, booking shows, like finding grant funding, like finding all these in and outs to like explore. That's like you wake up at six AM, you have your coffee, you're thinking about it, you're working on it. Mm-hmm. You go to bed at night, as you're falling asleep, that's what you're thinking about, you know? And then like even today I work but this morning we, we she styled the band that was on Global News, we were at Global this morning. And then uh, tonight we have a writing session, and we had this in between. So it's like the, yeah, the best part of the day. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. No, absolutely. Yeah. But like, I just love that way of life, and I would just like to see it Expand. continue. And like, I don't know what how it gets better, but mm-hmm. I, I'm looking forward to it. You summed yeah. it up re- very well. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think everyone's just looking to do what they love, and I, I mean, at least this generation is starting to like open their eyes to that a little bit more. I feel, and and I think that's. I mean, we do, I, I don't think I'm old enough to say, like, any, you know, portray any wisdom on, on life or anything, but I feel at least where we are, it's like you got to follow what makes you, your heart happy and, and surround yourself with people who make you feel good and kind of bring that out of you. Like you said, like bring out the good in you and help you grow and give you something to make you feel good. Mm-hmm. Life is rough. It's, it's crazy how, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about connection and You know, sometimes you you get kind of the whole thing twisted with, you know, is there enough reverb here? Is there enough this? Is there enough that with the technical aspects of, oh, Mm -hmm. shit, I need I need this funding. But at the end of the day, if 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 you're what you're seeking is connection, I mean, there is no better way to to go about it than than doing what you love and trying to connect. You were talking about your your best friends or or business partners. And that's that's a really interesting way to to see it because yeah i mean at the end of the day don't we all want to connect at some level Mm -hmm. with with the people that you want to connect with yeah exactly so uh, yeah music is great for that yeah it is great way to find what you're looking for yeah and and find comfort in in little moments it's all about the little moments right i think so yeah
So um, if you guys could do any project, like regardless of any uh, physical limitations, what would it be? Ah uh, man, I don't know. I mean, we have a lot of projects coming up that I'm actually really excited that we're about. Super like, excited we got, about yeah. um, Canadian Music Week is a very like great festival for yeah. Canadian artists, mm -hmm. and we played there last year. But we got into something similar this year, but in Holland. Okay. So like we're going to Holland in May, which yeah. is like at, every year we write like our top five things we'd like to achieve, and one mm -hmm. of them was play music in three different countries. Yeah. And then like the next day we got accepted to that festival yeah, in Holland, that was crazy. so we're gonna book our own shows in like Amsterdam, Paris and Brussels around that That's show in Rotterdam, Netherlands. So that and make that God. that one goal, you know, checked right and off. And thank list. you, thanks <laughs> to the government of Canada and foundations yeah. like Factor, like we they can <laughs> send us there possible, without yeah. us going poor for two years. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. It's crazy you you you're the second person tonight that that talks about the government of Canada yeah. and their and their implications in in the whole thing. It is super cool that they do that. I mean, yeah. it's it's a tough world out there for artists and Yeah. They definitely give a helping hand and and make your dreams you know that much closer yeah at least it's really helpful because music is expensive like people it don't is. realize it but it's mm -hmm. so expensive and it's you know and you don't i mean at an indie level there isn't a lot of money to be made like mm -hmm. it's the honest truth and it and it sucks but it is what it is and having like you know organizations like factor and so can um, it, it helps a lot for indie artists. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I'd also, it's, and then it's worth exploring. To, to dream a little bit, I'd like to have a writing session with Ariana Grande. Like that. <gasps> Stop, that's my dream. <laughs> that, with, Ariana Stop. Grande, Stop. really? Oh, I wasn't incredible. expecting that. You, yeah, you came her, out of left field. That here. voice, though. Yo, like, what I like about her is her, like, her flow, her writing style, and her vocal stylings. I find it so... Like you can tell that she, I grew up listening to like Mariah Carey and Winnie Houston, so I'm like obsessed <laughs> with vocals, yeah. and oh, you can tell that she comes from that same space. But she just like developed this like she just took it to a whole other level. I feel like in the modern in the modern sense. Oh, wait, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna yeah. take it all back. What's up? I'm gonna say I, if there was no barrier, or nothing. I'd love to have a writing session with Whitney Houston. Okay, the first time I heard I see, I'm I your see. baby tonight, oh, yeah, I was put it on out. repeat three times in a row and I cried. <laughs> that is yeah. what yeah, like, she's who incredible. can sing like that? I know, it doesn't even make sense. It's actually not fair, but whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. That's uh, another story. I love how they <laughs> remixed the old yeah, song oh, that they goodness, were about yes. to put in the garbage. I'm like that is so, you should do that for every single artist that has yeah. ever lived. Let's uh, go in every yeah. single archive, like all the big D, uh, DJs and beat makers mm -hmm. should go in every single archive, do exactly like Kygo did, do whatever the hell yeah. is in the garbage, yeah. take it back out. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was oh, amazing. Incredible. That, that, that was the song of our summer. Oh yeah, sure. man, that song that was, was our repeat. summer. Oh, so good. <laughs> it was oh. so good. Should do more of that. I mean, digging digging in the, in the trash yeah. of famous people. Yeah, totally. You know? I'm sure you'd find gems. And, and not the TMZ version of digging in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> what is the TMZ? I don't know. Like, <laughs> watching them film them in their pajamas, bringing their kids to school. Like, that's, that's ridiculous. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but I think it's a good uh, thing. You know, like, they're like, what are they called? What, what's it called? Is it paparazzi? Oh, yeah. And they just like stand outside the door and like. The creepy stuff. Yeah, like, the good stuff. Like, Shia LaBeouf was out in flip flops with Megan Fox. <laughs> I don't care. Like, Why do people do that? Why? Who knows? Why? But I feel like the, there's like a crowd that eats that kind oh, of stuff sure. up. Like, like, they just eat it up. Oh my God, they're on the streets. Which is so crazy because I feel like if you like cross them on the street, you wouldn't be like, <clears throat> you know, no. freaking out. You'd be like, okay, just like, walk on by. I don't know. But you know what? I, I was looking to, at a reality TV show. I'm not going to say which one because, uh, <laughs> you know, I got people to, to, to look up to. Uh, but, um, and your brain goes to off so badly that I'm like, this is close to meditation. Like, I'm, I'm not thinking at all all you know mm -hmm. like so i'm i'm guessing that's why people i think yeah, so no. that. yeah because yeah. you, you kind of it off yeah completely. exactly you we live actually, like vicariously through this this other human we had to actually make it a point to like turn off the cell phones mm -hmm. and like just the background noise when we got home and stuff because like because we felt like I that like, off thing I, was happening too often yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we're right only that but it's, and i yeah. find it's a very unhealthy way of restarting like yeah, it is. it's one yeah. thing like yeah if you're like grumpy when you get home, fine, be grumpy for an hour, then it kind of wears off. Yeah. But if you're just going to watch like The Office for the 16th time, like you're not, mm -hmm. not going to go through that range of emotion. And I, I just don't feel like it's a very healthy way to live. It's mm -hmm. very like clouded. Yeah. 
Oh, for sure. It's not the most poetic way no, to go, no, no, no. <laughs> go yeah, about it. No, going. definitely not. <laughs> I try, yeah. No, especially. To I mean, the, we try oh, and get a healthy balance. In especially it, with cause... binge watching now. It's like an epidemic. It's so, yeah. it's so addictive. It's so easy. It's so easy. Apparently, it, it, it mimics kind of drugs, apparently. Binge watching, it, yeah. it'll, it'll do the same effect, more or less. I, I mean, don't even doubt that. Yeah. It, it really is an addiction. Like, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. binge watching. Not not to do kids, uh, <laughs> so uh, Flower K, thanks a lot for uh, for for coming. Is there any uh, last shout outs that you guys want to do here uh, before we head out? When is this airing? Because we have a show Thursday at yeah. Bootlegger. Okay, Hi. Bootlegger, that's what's up. I just I just uh, talked to to the girl actually uh, there. What's up, Aud- Audrey? Audrey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. So w- when is this show? Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Tomorrow. Uh, in two, two days. days from in now. two days. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try my best, guys. I <laughs> no may, worries, no uh, worries. Do you have any it's other upcoming fe- ones? February sixth. Yeah. February, February sixth. Yes. We can do that. We can okay. do that. We can work with that. That's yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely have more in the new year, and we're gonna have definitely a new song coming out in the in the spring. Um, What's the show? February sixth. Uh, it's at the. Um, the, uh, the loft and tapas bar. Oh, that's yeah. a great place. Yeah. That's what's huh? up. I think okay, it's the opening. That's, yeah, uh, it, one of the openings. Okay, one yeah. of the, yeah. <laughs> Not quite. It's starting uh, this Thursday, actually. Okay, oh, okay, fun. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's the opening in 2020, though. Okay. So yeah. it's it, it is an opening. There we go. Yes. On Prince Arthur, February mm-hmm. 6th. That's yeah. what's up. Cool, cool guys. So um, new single on the way. Yes. New EP probably. I mean, don't 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 rush it. I mean, if people really bug us, if they if anybody actually cares when I hear new stuff, I will send them some of our demos. <laughs> oh yeah. But they, they have, by email. They have to. Prove Jesus man, I, it's. I hope you don't get two thousand yeah. emails. That's gonna be a lot of manual labor. Yeah. <laughs> it, they'll get the private sound yeah. link that'll be up for thirty seconds. So okay, that's good. It. That's what's up. Well, Flower K, thanks a lot for uh, coming with us, and we'll see you uh, in a not too distant future. Yeah, thanks yes, for, having, thanks for us. having us. Yeah. Thank you.